Okay, friends, let us continue with the part two of the tutorial on how to use the editizer or the editor in Google Mapa. We will start by opening the package file that we saved in the last tutorial. We will see how to show or hide vertices, how to insert or remove vertices, how to slip a line at a particular vertex, extending line feature to another line feature, creating perpendicular line equally spread along a line on area feature. Creating a coverage area over features, creating buffer over features, converting line to area features, converting area to point features, and converting line to point features, and vice versa. So let us open our file. Here is the file that we saved in the part one of this tutorial. For those that did not save the file, you can simply follow our tutorial step after step and reproduce it. Remember that in the part 1 of the tutorial, we use two working spaces. So I have chose to redraw it back only on one working space. So you can just uh, follow our tutorial on the part 1 and see how to create these uh, features. So let, let us start with what uh, we have to do today. The first point was to display this. So before you display any vector, you simply make sure that you activate the digitizer tool. Now you can either have access to the display area line vectors or you use the command, uh, use the command shift V, or you simply right click and you go to simply right click and go to option. On that option, you will see display area vectors, or you can simply use the command Shift plus V and you click automatically. The vertex will display, and you see them; they are in in blue. So now, if you want to hide it, you simply click and they disappear. Okay. The second point was to how to see how to insert to insert and delete vertex. Suppose I want to insert a vertex here, I select the object. I right click, I go on vertex editing, I go to insert vertex, or I can simply obtain the command here on my toolbar. I click where I want to insert my vertex, and my vertex has been inserted. Suppose I want to do this one, I click this one, go on delete the vertex, and it disappears. Now let us see how to split a line at a particular vertex. So let me suppose I want to split this line into two lines. So I select the line and make sure that I click on the vertex where I want to split. I click, go to crop, combine and split function. I click on split feature at selected vertex. You can also update it on the toolbar. This is a function here, this is a command here. And automatically our line has been split into two. You can see if you select this one, this one is a different line. And this one also is a another different a different line. So the let us now create, uh, for example, some perpendicular lines along a a particular line. So we want to create perpendicular line on this line. Okay, I select the same line. I select this line. I I click. I go to advanced property. Create perpendicular line along the line. I can tell I want to create for for perpendicular line. I can put it in say N as our capital N as our prefix and if I want to keep the original point yes I click I want to keep the original vertices vertices if I want to click, click keep the original vertices I, I click here keep all original vertices and I okay the same the distance I can just say five five thousand it's okay so this is our some perpendicular line that has been created at 5000 meters 5000 meters so here yeah, normally they have to at this that thing they think they kept the initial vertex so this one here should be a vertex that was it was supposed to be it was a vertex so that was from here to here is 5000 and from here to here is 5000 so maybe there was there was a third vertex so that's why they are having two here okay let us now see how to create a equivalent area over a feature. This, for example, I select a feature. 
I click, I go to advanced property, create coverage area and OK. See, it's a coverage area over my future. It does not see how to create a buffer, a buffer along a along a, a future. For example, a line. I will, I will create a buffer with a line feature. Also, I will create a buffer with a a, a rectangular feature. But I, first, I would like to open this one. I will uncheck this point. So it's no no more with me. So I will choose this feature and right click. Go to create buffer. Okay, I will put a positive one. If I want this, this number of zone, I the number of the buffers. The number of zone. The buffer we take, we, we take. We have, if you want it to appear on both sides, you want it only on left, you want it only on right, you click here. So I will allow on both sides. I will say two, you put two, so I will see when. Here the create rectangular buffer rather than rounded buffer. So I will create rectangular buffer. Now I click, you can zoom, you see this are buffer and they are in there. They are rectangular in, in shape and they are two. One, two, and two on both sides. So to that way I choose two. So let me now let me create a an internal buffer. I just select this one. I right click still under uh, advanced property on create buffer. Now I will put a negative number in front. Put one and okay. Now if I on select, see this is an internal buffer. Let us see now how to convert a line feature to an area feature. So I have here a line feature. I want to create this line feature to an area feature. I select this feature. I right click. I go to advanced property. I create a new area feature from the selected line. And OK. I put a name. I call it maybe area 1. Just an arbitrary name. Right? OK. Area 1. This is an, is an area feature that was created in with a line feature. If I want to create now, I'm, it does not create a uh, from an a, a point feature from an area feature that is an area I want to create points point feature I select it I want to create point from this uh, square I go on advanced property I go to create new point feature from an area feature, feature if I go and activate the square this is a point that has been created these are the this is a layer this is a layer so let me Check it back. So let us see now how to move from point now to a line and vice versa. Uh, I will select this point. I select various point. The three point I right click. Go to advanced property. I create a new line from selected point. Now here, yeah, if you put, they are, they ask us to put the maximum distance allowed between point to connect. If you allow a zero, that simply say that any distance should be allowed so I will allow zero I don't want to force anything I allow at zero in distance given the two point you should take I put the line let's say line one just like that okay and this is our point if I check on the on check point this is a line feature that has been created by joining the three points so we see that uh, with the details at all it has a lot of function and we cannot show you people all all so what you have to do is to right click and click and go to the other command that you could not have access to it. You right click, you up and you hit them and you apply them one after the other. You have you apply them one after the other. And if you have any problem or any work, for example, in drawing a particular feature, you can address us to our page. We kindly respond to you. So if the video was helpful. Please share, share, comment, it to it. If it was nice, that it was nice. If it was bad, that it was bad. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.